For years, you've wanted to get in shape and live a healthier lifestyle. But the demands of your job and other obligations leave you drained of motivation and energy each day. Months and years go by as failure after failure move your goal farther and farther away. But suppose you are suddenly offered the following two possible solutions. One, the money to hire fitness trainers, join a spa, enroll in a nutrition program. Or option two, the time to pray, read your Bible, meditate and fast. Hi, I'm Diana and I clearly recall my struggles in this area. I also completely understand if the first solution seems to make a lot more sense to you. You did to me too, until it failed me. We'll explore why in a minute. But first, let's take a look at this topic in general. Trying to live a healthy lifestyle while juggling the demands of one's job, family and social commitments and being constantly exposed to cheap and easy to grab unhealthy choices, it's far from easy. I think we can all relate to how frustrating it can be. You start to question whether it's even possible to get there. So I have a question. Does your spiritual worldview influence how you think this issue through? Does it change the way you eat or exercise? This is a short video series about how my Christian worldview changed me. My relationships in general, my emotions, thinking in this video, body and lifestyle. If you watch my other videos, you know I used to be the nominal, rebellious, mostly atheistic behaving Christian type. I didn't like at all religious rules that came with no explanation. I liked Jesus, I loved his personality, but making him a true priority wasn't on the list. Sure, I would pray sometimes, especially if my life was spiraling out of control, yet my desires were my real priorities getting fit and adopting a healthier lifestyle among them. Remember the two options? I did both. And in my case, having access to many resources like fitness and nutrition experts, expensive products and spas has proved considerably less effective in transforming my body, health and lifestyle than the Christian spiritual disciplines of... Yeah, right? Being one of these type A people, goal-oriented, you know, I used to think that of course working hard and having the money to pay for expensive treatments, spas, trainers, even my own cook would really get me there, fit and healthy. Yet there is not much time and energy left over at the end of each day for a small company owner like me. Not seeing the results as fast as I expected, I would try different programs swinging from super motivation to procrastination and total defeat. The more I pushed myself, the more my body and mind were driven to exhaustion. Only organizing my agenda could exhaust me. If my spiritual worldview hadn't changed my ways, I really think I would have ironically ended up sick just by trying to be healthy. So how did these spiritual practices change my lifestyle and body? In this video, I'll talk about prayer and fasting. Next one, part two, about mind union. First, I would mention a few resources that were instrumental in making me think differently and change my priorities. I pray for spiritual reasons, yet the results were far more reaching. Because I wanted to have uninterrupted time to pray and read the Bible, I decided I would do my best to turn myself into a morning person, despite all efforts and struggle. It took me a long time several years in fact and many failures. But now, my 5.30-6 a.m. morning routine, on top of providing me many spiritual benefits, has had several other positive effects. I discovered that getting up early not just feels great and peaceful, but I also have time to train in the morning, which for me works better than the evening. You know, this early rise habit helped me to stick to a daily 20 to 50 minute workout, for example, saving both time and money compared to my random tired trips to the gym in the evening, when all I wanted to do was relax, actually. The same routine also made me learn to sit still. Some people fast for better health. I began fasting only for spiritual reasons, never anticipating the health benefits that would result. It's fasting that led me to juicing veggies every week. I needed something to fuel my body enough to continue working. 
That's why I decided it was worth the effort to choose Peggy's. I also discovered the Daniel Fast, which is an amazing detox and has helped me moderate, even break the addictions of sugar, dairy, gluten, all contributors to premature aging, according to the latest research. Little did I know that fasting or running dramatically slowed the aging process. There is barely scientific evidence to back this up, as Sandra Thurey explains in her TED talk. So I asked myself, why has the second option worked much better in my case? I found three reasons. If we don't really grasp the incredible and unfailing love of God who accepts, loves and never rejects us despite our weaknesses, if we don't understand who He is, why would we want to spend time with Him or know Him better through prayer and Bible reading? And how can we desire to obey His teachings given the effort required? Because I misunderstood who He was, I was stuck for a long time. I thought I knew better what I wanted and how to reach my goals. I didn't even know what I didn't know. Not knowing, understanding the principles above, I thought when it comes to physical stuff and lifestyle, it was mainly about sheer perseverance and willpower. Just do it, okay? Well, not in my case. Second, love for God is powerful, effective, and a source of love for oneself, freeing us from self-condemnation, self-hate, and useless comparison, and allowing us to pursue our best selves as God intends us to be. Three, I have seen in my life and I'm deeply grateful for the big difference the Holy Spirit and prayer as well as the prayers of other brothers and sisters make, how Christians basically gain access to supernatural help. What happens without prayer and meditation? So praying, fasting and mind in your I should also say that none of these life-altering changes happened overnight for me. There were lots of failures and setbacks, yet what used to tempt me offers no appeal anymore and I really enjoy my new habits and I'm still surprised myself of the indirect benefits of taking care of my spiritual life on my body and lifestyle. I would have never anticipated that to be honest. Has your spiritual world you changed your lifestyle, your exercise routine? Part 2 of Spirit Before Body I'll talk about one final spiritual discipline that influenced my body and lifestyle quite drastically.